Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. May the eternal truth guide you. Good luck in all that you do. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Sam, making blood stained clean again. A manta queen. Yeah, we felled it, mine. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure. So much for the ruins. Hell only knows. Never I'm sure they're. Ah, let's talk later. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. All right. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. The point of no return. 
when your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI just like the overlords before him. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Another is that misfortune often brings opportunity. I found my path through the tragedies of my past. All right. Why have you come? All right. Why have you come? I am Graham Bryant. I brought the eternal truth to Monarch, and soon I'll bring it to the rest of the colony. Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still catch our message here and there. Surely. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. They obsess over tossball and fashion, and the board uses these obsessions to control them. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Nioka, I can smell you're having fun. And I need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this.
Ah, my stomach. This armor itches something awful. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hoped she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. No, that is not gonna happen. I spent too many years there smothered by my mama's fears. Now that I'm free, nothing can change my mind. Stellar Bay is not my home, not anymore. I finally found the space to breathe, and that's here in Amber Heights. I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. I know it sounds extreme. But I can't go back. I just can't. This is the only way I can think of to be free. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? Oh, right. Uh, uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way.
a trash cube. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. Disarray like level analysis. Making tracks. Dirt alert! Dirt alert! Coming, Captain! Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew! I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered?
I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Sanitation and maintenance job fulfilled.
Coming, Captain. As a purely hypothetical thought exercise, if I were to boil leather in manti blood to give it a nice purple hue, is there a way to get the stench out afterwards? Recommended dry cleaning service for fabric type, incineration. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes! You're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them.
Greetings, friend. All right. Before all this, I was a writer for MSI's product catalog. It was my purpose to spread awareness of Saltuna in its various forms. The certainty with which I spun among the other cogs in their machines stifled creativity and personal growth. On that, we agree. The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strength we seek Oh, yes. Gunships hover in our sky. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. The I... We... This is not anarchy. Society requires struck... The iconoclast... We... This is not... Go ahead. Not in the sense of it. The universe came into being over time. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Questions like these are distractions. All right. Why have you come? Unit's air purity sensors are indicated.
please tell me you found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? No, that can't be true. Not my little boy, not my baby. Wait, are you sure it wasn't someone else? Maybe my little boy's all right. How could you know it was him? That's Tucker's ring. His daddy gave it to him and he never took it off since. How did you... No, no, it can't be. He's not dead, not my child, not my sweet Tucker. I promise I always look out for him. Take the money. Just please leave me to grieve. Can you do anything except clean? Sam's new diet soap capsules pack twice the cleaning power and half the calories. Order a 5,000 caps carton for this unit today. I'll take that as a no. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit. Be careful with your new friends in Amber Heights. They're not the most reliable types. Anyway, what can I do for you? You think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52.
actually order one of those diet soap capsule packs through you? This unit has exhausted its library of pre-approved responses. Resetting library now. It's real fortunate that you're useful in a fight, you know? Good old Stellar Bay. The only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Deploying odor neutralizing. Aerosol spray now. Refilling water tanks with internal condensers.
Detecting unclean sulfurics. present within the immediate vicinity. Again. Live. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nyoka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Reforms are humane, but they're also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. No, they laughed in our faces, and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2, along with everyone else. Yes, some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. I don't know. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Ah, so you've heard about our prior... acquaintance. As far as I'm concerned, the less said about Graham, the better. Graham seemed like a reasonable man years ago. We both agreed that MSI's treatment of its workers was untenable. I thought reforms would be enough. I didn't realize you wanted to abolish the corporate system entirely. It's straight bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments. 
by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. For the greater good. Allegedly. Monarch may be dangerous, but it's hardly the wasteland the board describes it to be. Whatever the board's goals, the greater good has little part in them. Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah, that'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. And being cut off means slow strangulation. Indeed, we've got to consider realities, not ideals. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes, it'll be easier to explain once we have the Bolt 52. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. What can I do for you? Be careful with your new friends in Amber Heights. They're not the most reliable types. Anyway, what can I do for you? Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Why wouldn't anyone? They o I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's... Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relation. I've discovered it's much easier to negotiate from a position of power. And I don't mean to leave MSI or its people at a disadvantage. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. Why wouldn't any to be on? Hmm? I fear the MSI citizens who've been dissolved into Raptodon Cud would disagree with you. If membership on the board can ease, besides. Oh, believe me, <laughs> I've learned that much. But I'm also not going to leave MSI at a disadvantage. What can I do for you?
Damn units are deodorizing, disinfecting, and best of all, lethal to contagion.
I hope your being here means the board is loosening their restrictions. If you leave town, watch out for iconoclasts. They're almost as bad as the rats. Sure. If you want to talk to the boss, she's in the back of the warehouse. Velma seem out of sorts to you. We're not the best equipped, but scouting for rats keeps us on our toes. Be careful with your new friends in Amber Heights. They're not the most reliable types. Anyway, what can I do for you? Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. What can I do for you? Then it's good that I keep... Why to be... Hmm? I feel... Bes oh, what can I do for you? 